Alright people, we are back at you guys once again with another My Thoughts video. And uh and today we are gonna be talking about New Jack and the Dark Side of the Ring season two there, his episode. Oh yeah. Which uh you know, uh let's just call it what it is. That's a crazy motherfucker, dude. Yeah, dude, know. I mean, you know what? I used to be like a new Jack fan, but after yeah. seeing this, it's like I don't even know if I'll ever be a fan of his no more well, because the way I mean, just the way he treated like a bunch of people and you know Right. I mean I am looking at it like there was no call for that. You're right. I mean New Jack for me is like bittersweet. I like him but I also don't like him. You know Yeah, like I mean like, you know, when he like I've watched a lot of his E C W matches and you know, always thought, man, this motherfucker's crazy. Like he, he was the only wrestler to ever come out and wrestle his whole match. Yeah. And why his music was playing the whole time. Like normally you get in the ring, you know, as soon as you enter the ring, your music stops. Right. Well with with New Jack they never shut his music off unless he lost the match. Unless he got beat one, two, three, they would kill his music and, you know, turn on the other part. But from, yeah. from the point where he came out to the finish of the match, they would, they, they would, his song would play the whole time. Right on. Yeah, I mean, and, uh, he was pre he was uh, perfect, I think, for ECW. That's where he fit. Yeah. You know. I mean, I, I, I like how they said they started him off in a Smoky Mountain Wrestling. And, right. You know, but, dude, he was, after watching that video and seeing how, like, did you see some of his interviews that he gave? Oh, yeah. Like, basically just shitting on white people. Oh, yeah, man. but that's what they wanted. They wanted, uh, you know, they, they wanted want, him to be yeah. extreme like that. That was his character. Because they know they were in a, like a southern town where, right. you know, it was back then, you know, like these southern towns are known for, you know, slavery and whatever. Right. And, Plus, I mean, and, uh, with his upbringing, because he said in the, in the episode where he was yeah. talking about his mom got stabbed, his mom got shot in the back of the leg. Yeah, and by his father. That's what I thought was crazy. Yeah, she was trying to leave him one day. Leave and his... today He had him in his arm. They were walking. The father just walked up behind them and just like pointed his gun and shot her in the damn back of the leg so yeah. she couldn't leave. Isn't that something? So he grew up with the violent shit. That's why it's. Yeah, and that's why it's in him. You know. Yeah, and that's why he was saying like he's like y'all wonder why I'm, why I'm. <laughs> Why I'm so full of hate. <laughs> right, but you know who I find that is even kind of more crazy than him was his fucking partner. Mustafa, yeah, yeah. that motherfucker was crazy, <laughs> dude. I mean, that's a those two were like a crazy ass combo, dude. Yeah, but what got me is when they were talking about how he walked outside. Mustafa was like rolling up a fucking blunt and weed. Right, and he mixed it. And, and, and he was mixing like. Pencil shavings, <laughs> yeah, like, like flowers and weeds that he would find growing around the arena, and like pull it all up and add the pencil shavings, weed, or whatever, and he would roll it all up and he would start smoking it. Yeah, that's crazy. And and New Jack ran out there and was like, like, dude, you know this shit's gonna fuck you up one day. He's like, oh no 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 man, it's all good, it's all good, and then. Fucking he said it was like some time later that he he was told that Mustafa was outside fighting the cops. Yeah. And he said he ran out there and they had him like they had him pinned on the ground and he was yelling for New Jack, telling him like, New Jack, come on, help me, man. They're trying to fuck me, man. They're trying to <laughs> fuck me. And he's like he's like, No, man, they're just they're trying to arrest you, know, dumbass. Man, because he's a crazy fucker, dude. Yeah, that dude was a crazy. I don't think they really got into why they split up, though, in that yeah, episode. Because, yeah, because it was like they talked about them and talked about that shit. And then they talked, like, they went from there. And then, like, like they skipped ahead of all that. And he just 
he started but, talking about like you know all the times that he was doing cocaine and how he was making him do that crazy shit like jumping off a balcony and, right you know he's like he's like oh one week I jumped off a 10 foot balcony well, that was cool but yeah. how, how do you uh, outdo that oh next time you jump off a 15 foot high balcony or you jump off a 20 foot balcony yeah and, and while on drugs yeah well, yeah, you have to be because it, you're. It's a lot of pain, you know, yeah. jumping off that shit. But yeah, this episode should have, I think, should have been probably a two-part episode because it, it just, like, half of it, half of it felt rushed, and some of it looked over overlooked, you know. Yeah, like, like I think the first part should have taught, should have discussed him more of him and Mustafa, and then maybe. And, I mean, I, like I said, I know they broke up and they feuded for a while because one of the times they showed New Jack jump off one of the balconies, it fucking, it, you know, it fucking it was on to Mustafa through a table to the floor. Yeah, that's crazy. And then it, after that, they got in that, you know, and it, they went from that to talking about me threw big grinds off that damn scaffold. Oh, yeah, but before that, they got into the uh, 17-year-old kid who's, who uh, he got yeah, his, oh, yeah. cut his yeah, fucking yeah, head. About that. Yeah, yeah. That mass uh, transit. That was, yeah, that was the last thing that they talked about that New Jack and Mustafa was a, when they were still a team. And I think that was kind of dumb. How, like, that was messed up how, how they did that kid. All, he got all pissed off because the kid came back before their match and New Jack was already back there doing cocaine and he was already pissed off about something. The kid came in just trying to say, hey, you know, we're going to wrestle tonight. I was just wondering if I could maybe pull a move or two off. And, right, that was a big no-no and, for him. Yeah, and and, Jack, and New Jack told Trip, like, look, you don't, you don't come to somewhere. You're just the fucking new kid coming in, you know, and you're asking, you know, one of the top talent to fucking let you, like, bump for you. Right, so that's and, uh, he shouldn't have done that with New Jack. You know, he shouldn't have said that. No, and, and then and then that, that was the first mistake. The second mistake he made was telling New Jack to he want, blame him. Yeah, that he wanted color. Yeah, he, she shouldn't have yeah. done that because he really did cut that fucking kid yeah, good. And, and, and yeah, and, and the fucked up thing about it was, you know, they gave him a piece of a razor blade just to you know give him a quick you know slash across the head or something like they no. normally do. No, he got a real good yeah, cut. Yeah, as I'm saying, dur during somehow he got he acquired a fucking like uh, one of those scalpels that a like a hospital will use. Right. And when they showed him go up and, and do that, he, not only did he, he but he stuck the fucking kid right in the head. And right. Then the fucking like slashed him across the damn head like. And when you see it, dude, it's the grossest thing you'll ever see. Oh, no, I, I've already seen the full match a while back, and I noticed he really did cut into it well because when he was bleeding, his blood was squirting out like a water faucet. Yeah, because, I mean, dude, dude when you, they, showed, they showed his fucking head, and from where his head meets his scalp, right. there was like a fucking six-inch, like there was like a fucking good inch or so Gash oh yeah! In his fucking all the way across his fucking head. Yeah, I mean you could hear the kid if you watch the full match after like, he cut him. Yeah, yeah you hear this like that, that, really bad scream. Yeah, and I'm like, holy fucking shit, man! That's and, he. And, and not only that, what about his dad? His dad yeah. was sitting there right there ringside and yell. I mean, you could hear him yell out like, "Yeah, he's 17." What the fuck? You know, he's only 17. Okay, yeah, yeah. He was only 17. <laughs> He, it, he wouldn't yeah, have got in there. He lied about his age. Yeah, but I'm saying, if the father knew what his, you know, age, if he knew anything about ECW, you no, know, they're going to get fucking violent. I, Why would you allow your son to go wrestle there? Yeah, that's another thing. It's like, it's almost like they haven't seen a New Jack fucking mat, uh, wrestle before. You know, it's like, yeah. this is New Jack, people. What the fuck do you expect? Yeah, you know. and, and not only that, I, I thought it was kind of messed up too. Like when he was talking, he was talking uh, Mustafa and Devon Dudley before the match. He, he was telling them like, 
you know, we start this match. You, he, he's like, you and Mufasa, Mustafa, go go to the floor and stay there. It's just gonna be me and that kid. Inside yeah, the yeah. He that's pretty much what it was too. He he's like everybody else stayed out of the way for the most part, and then New Jack just got on his ass. Uh, yeah. And not he, only I mean, that. I, he fucking, he had a chair, too, and he jumped up off the ropes and came down and smashed his fucking head in with a chair. Yeah, I mean, You know? I know. And I'm just yeah. like, damn, I mean, he's really taking it to this kid, man. Yeah, what about what he said about him out after the match? He's like, he's like, I don't give a fuck about this guy. Like, I hope he fucking bleeds to death. Yeah, because he's portraying that character. Yeah. You know, not that he really meant that, but I think partially he did mean that. You know, yeah. at, a, at well, a certain extent, but I don't think he was at a full extent. But yeah, he fucked that kid up bad, dude. Yeah. Did you see when the kid did actually did an interview sometime later? Yeah. He was he's, showing the big scar across his head. He's like, he's like from here to here. He's like, I have no feeling. Yeah, he lost feeling. Yeah, because they he 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 damaged the nerves, so there's no feeling left. Yeah. Then the kid ends up dying later on, you know, yeah, but I mean, a few, it was, I mean, few years it later. Was, you know, the thing about it, they said he died, but it wasn't had nothing to do with... Oh, yeah, I know. Wrestling or nothing like that. It was, it was because he bypass had, uh, surgery. Bypass surgery. Right, bypass surgery. And then after that, you know, they also, they went into the Gypsy Joe thing where he yeah. beat the fuck out of Gypsy Joe. The match is on YouTube. You can check it out. I mean, he t the one thing I don't... They, where they should have stopped the match is when he started beating him in the head with the fucking metal bat. Yeah, you know. Well, that, you notice when he first picked that bat up, it was a bat you know, like covered in barbed wire. <laughs> yeah. And when he, and when he hit him once or twice, you, you you see the fucking barbed wire go flying to where it's just yeah. the bat itself. Yeah, and, and he got pissed, apparently, because Gypsy Joe wasn't selling. Well, well, well yeah, because he, he didn't know, he didn't necessarily know who Gypsy Joe was. Yeah, you know, Gypsy Joe don't... That. Yeah, right. He don't feel pain, right? Yeah, he's like, he's one of those, like, he's a 73-year-old guy that, that you know, he's got this big thing, like, he's impervious to pain, like, he doesn't right. feel pain, and, and New Jack didn't know anything about that. Yeah, he so saw this old seventy-three-year-old man that he's he, about to wrestle. He, yeah, and, and he, he's not selling, so he's getting pissed off. And plus, yeah, he's, he's getting, he's, getting, he's, getting he's, he's not selling. He's getting pissed off. And plus, the old fan, somebody out in the audience started calling him the N-word. Well, plus, and, uh, plus, uh, Gypsy Joe was uh, during the match, I believe, chopping him a bunch of times. And I think he, that's where he really just, okay, motherfucker, fuck this. Yeah, it's on. Yeah, you see him at one point, like, they're <laughs> punching each other, like, and the guy is not selling, New Jack is selling, all of a sudden, you just see New Jack just grab the guy and, like, sling him, yeah. go grab the bat, and just start wailing on Oh, him. yeah, he does a lot of things. I mean, he pushes him down to the ground uh, pretty hard. Yeah, and, yeah, he uh, beat him with a bat, threw a stack of chairs on him. Throwing his meat onto him. Yeah, yeah, I mean, they were he, he, he really laid into him pretty bad. You can see the welts on his fucking head, too, uh, yeah, after that right. match. What about, I tell you what, though, what about the work? Before that, remember, he had that, he did that angle with Big Grind. Well, yeah, you know, you know, yeah, because... Uh, because of that incident beforehand where New Jack had kind of lost sight in one eye, right? Yeah. Where he came down, where he pulled Vic, him and Vic Grimes down and Vic landed on him, crushing his head, you know? Yeah. So he was pissed off about at, at him for that, so he ended up at another match throwing him off that top of that thing, and he... You know what? Vic Grimes is so fucking lucky that he hit yeah. those ropes. If Because yeah, if he would have not... Yeah. He could if he would have missed the ropes, if he would have went to the floor, he would, the floor, he would have been fucking most likely dead. You know, really, really hurt. Oh yeah, or or permanently like yeah. injured or paralyzed, fucking broken legs, broken back. There's no way, it, dude. I, like God was on his side that night because that. Yeah. I mean, if he would have just a, like just a foot further, he'd be fucking gone. 
Yeah. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you hear what New Jack said about that? I mean, he even admitted he was trying to kill that guy. Like, uh, of course. He, I mean, he, that was his intention. He wanted to throw him off that, and he wanted to throw him past. I mean, he wanted him to go flying off and just hit the bear. And like that, dude, that's... That's crazy. Yeah. yeah but he was, I mean, I can understand, you know, you hate somebody so bad. Yeah, but... The fact but, that you're, you're going to try to actually murder that yeah, person. Yeah, you, yeah, I can understand somebody doing something where you get pissed, but you give him his receipt. You don't actually try to murder the motherfucker. Yeah. You know, and... And, that, and you know what? And that's what they were saying. That's why New Jack never wrestled for, like, never wrestled for the WWF and he never wrestled for WCW. Yeah, because they don't want that craziness around them. Exactly. And, that, and that's what one guy said. That That's why that... He said that neither neither Eric Bischoff or Vince McMahon didn't even want to deal with New Jack. Yeah, of course not. They, they He's a crazy he fucker, so, dude. He, they knew that he was so out there and, you know... He's just a crazy motherfucker. Yeah, he, you know, Vic, Vicky, Vic Grimes is so lucky, dude. Like, I keep when I think about that, I'm like, wow. He, you know, that's yeah. that's almost the same thing as like the whole Owen Hart incident where he dropped far down, you know, and yeah. unfortunately Owen died. But you know, that's almost like the same thing. He dropped pretty far and hit those and hit those ropes, and I'm thinking. Man, yeah. you're so and fucking I, I, lucky, dude. Honestly, that was lucky that Big Grimes hit those ropes. Oh yeah. Either way, it, like if he didn't hit those ropes, he'd be he'd be either dead or paralyzed or something really bad would have yeah. happened to him. And it's because he hit those ropes, the only thing that wound up happening to him is he suffered a dislocated ankle. Yeah, he's so fucking like. Plus, he's a big dude. So the bigger you are, the harder you fall. Exactly. You know, so he would have been fucking probably dead or paralyzed, like I was saying. But yeah, that was fucked up. And then after that, they get into the one guy who who punched New Jack. No, before that, I want to say before he threw Vic Grimes, he stunned the motherfucker a couple times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, I, I forgot about that. Yeah, he fucking went and he got a. He, I'll never forget what New Jack said. <laughs> a stun gun. He had, he had a fucking stunt, a taser, <laughs> and and you see him, he's fucking tasering the shit out. Oh of, yeah, oh yeah. There. And the guy, and, the, and he's the, saying like, he's like, quit it, man, quit that kid doing my He's like, he's like, oh, don't worry, man. You ain't gonna be, you ain't gonna need it much longer. Yeah, something like that. You ain't, don't worry, yeah, I got yeah, you. He fucking, that was right, right after that, because you know, he, you know, that's when he when he hit him with that taser. Like, he got him so out of it that he, he, like, that's why it was so easy for him to throw him off the fucking balcony. Yeah. That's fucked or up, man. Whatever. Yeah, I mean, that. That all was because, fucked up. All, yeah, all because of, of a, a, you know, a mistake where you got hurt. It's like, oh, because you hurt me, I want I want to end your life now. Yeah, piece of shit. And then this, and the last guy that we started talking about where the reason why New Jack stabbed this motherfucker is because he got punched in the face twice. Yeah. Well, and it pissed him off. Well, before that, remember they were talking about how, it, like, the guy came back in the back before the match and was wanting to discuss the match with New right. Jack. And they got back there and New Jack was telling them what they could do, trying to be, you know, trying to be actually... For, like for once, I was trying to be cool. I was trying to, you know, like hell. I'm gonna kind of tone down my aggressiveness, whatever, and right. you know, try to, you know, try to get get an actual good match going. Right, and, and 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 the match itself is also on YouTube for anybody to yeah. check out. But he said when he was trying to explain in the match, he said that like at one point the guy it didn't seem like the guy was even listening to him. And right. He said, about one point, the guy just got up and just, he's like, whatever, we're just doing fuck you want, I don't care, fuck this. And, right. <laughs> and when he left, New Jack got into a state where, you know, he fucking started doing cocaine and shit, getting, you know, more to think about, but, you know, he felt like the guy completely fucking disrespected him. And, but I still, I mean, I, 
I, I, I, they explained too, like why he had a fucking blade in his pocket. Yeah, he something like he had a Wolverine claw, and one of the blades broke off. And yeah, and, 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 and yeah, for, and for some reason the blade just happened to be in his in pocket. His fucking, in, in, in his pocket, like yeah, he, he, right. You know, he wasn't gonna intend to use it. He just put it in his pocket, kind of to like keep him. He shouldn't have fucking had that blade in the first place. Yeah. In his but pocket. Man, when you see him pull that blade out. Oh yeah, he, he sticks him. Stabbing him. It's like, like you can see, like one guy paused it, and you can see the crowd behind him. Right. Just giving a look like, oh my god, what the fuck are you doing? Dude? Yeah, yeah. They they were uh, they were probably a dead shock. I, I, you know, because, yeah, I mean, you you go there to see a wrestling match, not a fucking live murder, pretty much, about to happen, where somebody gets yeah. stabbed up. I don't go to see, I don't go watch a wrestling match to see somebody get stabbed up, for real. Yeah, exactly. You know, I mean, what the fuck, you know? I was like, whoa, yeah. dude, you're fucking, after that, I think New Jack, in my opinion, should have been banned from wrestling altogether. You know, I, 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 I think so too because I mean, I mean, yeah, if you think about it, you know, it, it should be like he had his three strike. The fact, the fact that he cut that mass transit kid open like that, then the fucking that thing with Gypsy Joe, and now this guy, and I'm not even counting fucking Dick Grimes. Like, yeah, and also there's been others too. There was, um, I seen a match with uh, New Jack where he got pissed off over some guy he had his, with his partner. Uh, like he wouldn't take the pin at the right time, and and New Jack got pissed because of it. You could tell he was pissed. He was supposed to be pinned at a certain time, I think, and since yeah. he didn't take the pin, he he took this fucking chair and he cracked this fucking guy in the head real hard and the guy ended up rolling the fuck out of there or something and he was just bleeding all over the floor and even one of the fucking people that were there you know watching the wrestling match was saying dude you better take him to the hospital he's got to he needs to get the fuck go to the hospital uh, you know yeah, I, and, you know what, why do you think uh why do you think they don't do fucking chair shots anymore like, <laughs> you know they've talked about it. that's why don't even chair shots to the skulls anymore. Yeah, well, New Jack should never have a chair in his hands, any weapon whatsoever, because he's fucking nuts, dude. I know, but I, I agree with you as far as that, like, and, unless he was that young, fucking just chilled out, he does not belong in a wrestling ring anymore. No, no, yeah. Like, I mean, I, he should have been banned when, when yeah. like, when you stab somebody... That's it, dude. You you should be yeah. totally banned. Well, you know what? He, he was lucky on that stabbing because, you know, they explained that somebody called the cops and was, you know, saying that, hey, somebody's here stabbing a guy. Yeah. And, and New Jack was even describing it as all the cops know when they're coming here is that, they're, you know, there's a, a black guy stabbing a white guy. Right. Like, and, 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 and dressed in an army outfit. <laughs> you know. Yeah. And they said that, he said that he said that's the way they took it. And then so when they burst through the door they weren't thinking that, you know, this might possibly be you know, like a wrestling angle or something. Like, no it's not, but um they just burst through the door and it said with guns drawn and had him get down to the knees and arrest them and they yeah. got you know, medical assistance for the one guy and what, what I don't get is the guy that's that he stabbed drop the charges on him. Oh, yeah, so he, he came so in. He gonna, yeah, he was going to drop the charges. They were going to, you know, and work it into an angle where, right. you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put his off like, I'm looking for a new jack, you know? Right, and he, and he agreed to it, but then he, he once he, the charges were dropped, he was gone. Yeah, the, the guy, yeah, the guy that, was, that, that he stabbed, like, he, that, after he, he got the charges job. That was the last time he ever spoke to him. <laughs> he got away with a lot of shit, man. Yeah. It's crazy. I mean, I, I mean he, they even took him to court over the mass transit thing, and he had fucking Paulie and 
Right. You know, all right. the other wrestlers. Well, the kid, the kid, the, the kid did lie. He did say that he was seven. Yeah. He, he was twenty-one when he was actually seventeen. And they yeah. asked, and you know what? Not only that, but they said it set him off too because you know his, you know the kid's father was, was I guess that uh, you know was yelling racial slurs at me, Jack. Right. So and, he he, know, he got off. He, yeah. That's crazy, man. That he man. He's talking about walking the line, man. <laughs> I mean, I I understand you want to take your job seriously, but you know you want to be known as a crazy motherfucker. But you know there's there, there's a time to make people think that you're crazy, but you know there, and there's a time that you're about to go overboard. And New Jack just took it overboard. <laughs> That's the way he's always been, though. But yeah, he just kept escalating into the, you know, into more crazy shit from time to time. Yeah. But yeah, uh, hell, it was a good episode. Like I said, you know, uh, some of it felt rushed, you know, uh, yeah, because like, it, they can only do so much in forty-five minutes, you know. Yeah, but well, like you said, they should have made it a fucking part, to, like a two-part thing. Yeah. Could have talked about it was time with. Uh, with Mustafa and ECW, they could have ended it the first time when they had their split. They could have right. picked up uh, two with every you know with their feud, and the mass transit, and right? Time, and it would have been bullshit. and it would have been nice if they could have actually got interviews with like Vic Grimes and the guy who got stabbed nine times. Their point of view of the you know, yeah, I would have yeah. loved to have heard their side of the story. Yeah, unfortunately, you know, they weren't in it. You know. Yeah, like, well, like you said, well, you know, the mass transit kid dead. Uh, well, yeah, he's dead. Gypsy Joe is dead, but the other two are not that I know of. Yeah, I don't think the guy who got stabbed nine times is dead that I know of. He might, you know what it might have been, though? He might have been like, I don't know if I want to do this interview. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't who know knows? He could he can, he can, he can fucking, uh, he could pee over again and, you know, stab me again. No, well... <laughs> Who knows? But all in all, it's a pretty decent, uh, you know, episode. Yeah. It covers everything, you know, pretty much everything I already knew about. I've seen all the matches. Yeah, brother, we didn't know. We didn't know actually the full like detail. They went back and you know gave full detail and like why, you know, because. Right. You know, well, they did talk to the security know. guys as well. That was at the that one with the man's transit stuff. Yeah, and they said that. It, they didn't even know why, like, at first, him and the, the two midgets were there. And then he said, I guess he saw the kid come back out again with, uh, with whoever he was, I think, Yvonne Dunley, like, they were heading for the ring. And, and the one guy's like, oh, well, oh, wow, that's the guy I saw come in earlier. Yeah. Well, they are working him in a match tonight. Yeah, yeah. It was a pretty good... And, and, yeah, and, and those security guards even said that after he sliced him open... And continue just beating the living hell out of this poor kid. <laughs> I'll tell you, and I don't know. Jumping, jumping on him with a damn chair. And yeah, I mean, he, yeah, he came down with that chair and wailed on his fucking head with it. I'm like, damn, yeah. dude. I said, they were you're trying, a crazy they fucker, were trying dude. to say that, you know, like, like they, they, they wanted to get medical assistance in there. Like, they wanted to get him in there the minute he sliced him because they thought you could see. The oh yeah. Blood just gushing out oh, of yeah. damn head. Oh yeah, it was coming out big time. But uh yeah. well, let's go ahead and wrap this one up. I'm sure it's gone on long enough. So Yeah. Um, Sorry about that everybody. But uh yeah, we'll go ahead and wrap it up. Yeah, a uh, pretty good episode all in all. Yeah, I like that they went and talked about his uh partner there. I would have liked to have known more about him as well. Yeah. Um but all in all, pretty good. I'm looking forward to, you know, next week's episode, and we'll probably oh, do a who's, my... Who's, uh, who's next week again? I yeah. don't recall. I don't recall. I can't wait to see the one on the Road Warriors. Yeah. I know there's Owen Hart, there's the Road Warriors, uh, there's, uh... Shit, I don't, I don't remember. A couple, quite a few more. I think the next one's the Brawl for All. Um, uh, I believe that's yeah. I believe that's the next one. And when that comes, uh, yeah, I, de I definitely want to watch that one too. I want to yeah. see really who's she 
genius idea it was to get all these guys to go in there <laughs> and box and, and not not no the thing about it was the brawl for all that was a bit, that wasn't you know the new guys were boxing in the ring and stuff they were really boxing yeah there I know no, it, I mean this it, the brawl for all wasn't like damn uh, how wrestling is where you know the winner is already determined you know right because I mean if they would have won to determine who was going to win they were all thinking that you know Dr. Death Steve Williams is going to fucking win but yeah. we all saw that but that'd be uh, that'd be something for next video. Yeah, we'll do a, my thoughts on that one as well. And there's also a, you know the Doctor D David Schultz one is coming. Uh, I can't wait. To do yeah, that one either. <laughs> it's gonna be good, man. But yeah, let's wrap it up. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this episode of uh, Dark Side of the Ring. My thoughts and uh, with you, Jack, and we will back be back to do it again. Yeah. All right, guys, we are out of here, and have a kick-ass day. Peace. Bye.